Hey everybody, this is George from MetalDisciple.com. I'm here with 365 Days of Metal, Day 2. Yesterday, uh, when I was digging around in the uh, LP box for the Black Sabbath album, I came across the best of Metal Blade Volume 1. Uh, I've had this LP for, well, since 1986 when it first came out. Um, I think I picked it up at Kmart in one of those, you know, compilation bins. Um, I've never been a big fan of compilation albums except for uh, for discovery purposes. But uh, you know, at the time I was still trying to uh, sink my teeth into the new, you know, thrash metal and speed metal uh, that was coming out at the time. And so I picked this up, uh, hoping to uh, you know get a bunch of bands at once. And uh, as it turns out. Uh, there were a lot of classic bands that were on this album uh, that I heard for the very first time here. Uh, looking on here, we've got Slayer's Chemical Warfare. It was the, at, you know, the very first time that I ever heard Slayer. Uh, Doom Metal Band Trouble, uh, Hallow's Eve, Bitch, Celtic Frost, and the, the Circle of the Tyrants, you know, classic song. Uh, this was the first time I heard Fate's Warning or Omen. Lizzie Borden, Nasty Savage, Attacker, with their song Disciple. Where do you think uh, Metal Disciple comes from? That would be from Attacker and uh, their song Disciple. This was one of my favorite songs of the early to mid 80s. And that's what inspired the name of the site. Warlord and Child of the Damned, another classic song. Uh, Metal Church with The Brave, that was a song that came out before even their first album. Voivod, Blower from the Warren Payne album, really early Voivod, uh, Hyrax, Pandemonium, Tyrant, Thrust. Thrust had a song called Posers Will Die. Using the term posers these days is, is kind of, uh, I don't know, kind of goofy really. But back in the 80s when the whole glam metal thing was going on, um, yeah, posers and poser bashing was kind of a big deal. <laughs> um, so yeah. This is uh, it's a double album, has 23 tracks. Uh, looking around online, it seems like it's a pretty hard thing to come by these days. Um, so I thought it might interest you. <coughs> if, you uh, if you open it up, you can see uh, like a list of all the different album covers. Which, uh, you know, for a high school kid just getting into metal, that was some pretty cool shit. So uh, this was uh, an album that was was instrumental in in me becoming the metalhead that I am today. So uh, I hope you found it interesting. All right, that's it for today. I'll see you back here again tomorrow. Take it easy.